Hi folks, welcome back to our channel where we give you the tips and tricks for all your remodeling needs. I'm Joe Ferranti Gennaro. And I'm Delina. And today I would like to ask a few questions about the mistakes that are in kitchen remodeling. Some of the mistakes that are made. Um, recently I was at a job and we walked in to do a gay pre-con and the whole job she demoed it for us. So is that something that you would want to see when you're out, when you go to the appointments or is that a mistake? I would say that's probably one of the bigger mistakes uh, made in for customers is to do the demolition on a job before mm -hmm. anybody's even looked at it. I go in probably 10 or 15% of the estimates I go to and everything's already been ripped out of a kitchen. Yeah. And they've probably already started doing drywall finishing and there's no design. But they, but they think maybe they're helping. They the think they're helping the project, yeah. yes. Yeah. So, you know, when you build a house, you don't start the demo and then get the plans done. You make the plans for the house, right? right? You have a set of plans, you draw it all up. This is what we're doing. This mm -hmm. is the game plan. And then, then you proceed with building the house. And it's pretty much the same way in a kitchen. In a kitchen, you're going to make a plan of what you're going to be doing. We would go in and do as-build drawings, so the way it currently is. Because with that, we're going to note where the electrical and the plumbing currently is located. Um, and then we're going to see the new plan of where things will be moved to. So now we know this is where things are. This is where things are getting relocated to. And that gives us a good way of being able to figure out the budget and the design. And then we put a plan together because once you demo, the very next step is actually putting your plumbing and electric inside the walls. Mm -hmm. And if you don't have a plan, you don't know where to put that. Right. So I go in, I see it's been dem the demolition is being completed in a kitchen remodel. Um, and then they bring the, the person in to say, okay, now I want to design my cabinets. Mm -hmm. And you should just go ahead and use your kitchen while you're waiting, you know? Oh, like, wouldn't you rather do <laughs> yeah. cooking and, yes. and not, not have an empty kitchen? Yeah. So like that job you were talking yes. about, I think she had no kitchen for like six months. She, she didn't have a kitchen. Because <laughs> she tore it all out mm -hmm. and then she had to wait yes. for all the orders to come in. So what we do is we go in, we do, we recommend doing, uh, laying out where the kitchen's at now, leaving your kitchen in place, mm -hmm. doing the layout, doing the new design, signing the contract when the design is completely uh, picked out, all your countertops, materials, uh, cabinet, door styles, knobs and pulls, maybe your backsplash tile. Um, and then we order everything. In the meantime, you're using your kitchen. Right. right? That's, uh, that's Because most of the time you're going to wait a couple of months at least from when you sign a contract from to when the job would start. And if you have already <laughs> tore out your kitchen, okay. you're just not using it in that time. You still got to wait the two months. So you order the stuff and then once we know it's coming in and then you schedule the demolition. Yes. So once we have everything in, uh -huh. then we start the demolition. Kind of rolls a lot and quicker. then it gets a lot quicker. Oh, that's yes. Yeah. yeah. Otherwise it's demo, wait two months, then start your cabinet and your electrical and plumbing and your cabinet installation. And do you think that they're saving money by demoing it before you step in? That or? is another really good question. Uh, a lot of people think, well, we did the demo, yeah. we're going to save a tremendous amount right. of money. So if you think your average kitchen remodel is probably around $50,000 today, a lot of people think, oh, I might save $10,000 by doing the demolition myself. When reality is guys that do it every day and all the time, mm -hmm. it's two days worth of work. So it might be $1,500 or something to uh, do the demolition. So it's not saving a tremendous amount uh -huh. in, a, in a budget of 50000 And plus. we have the equipment and the tools to That's take right. and, the, and the dumpsters and all that. That's right. That people we don't to... realize they don't have. Them, yeah, but... we set up the air scrubbers and <laughs> yeah. the plastic barriers yeah. and we have the dump trailers. So mm -hmm. yeah, it's a much better process to have it done, you know, right at the time of starting the job. Yeah. So, yeah, is there any other questions on, on that part of it? 
No, I think you answered them. I think that was a great little tip to, to get you in there first for an appointment and then, then go through the process correctly. And it isn't a big savings if it's only 1500 Yeah, you know, so. that's about what it usually is. And you have the dust protection, which normal people wouldn't. We don't, I don't have it. Yeah, homeowners <laughs> wouldn't, wouldn't know yeah. how to set all that it, up. Yeah. yeah, so that's a good tip. All right, well, that's the biggest mistake uh, people usually make when they're starting their kitchen remodeling project. Uh, for more tips and tricks, go to our website, tampakitchenandbath.com, and also please like and subscribe to our channel.